Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video session. As always, my name is Thomas, and I'm one of the IELTS teachers here at Lango Learning System. As I previously promised to you in the last video, today I am going to continue explaining a selection of idioms that can help you to gain band 8 or above in the IELTS speaking exam. Let's continue now. Number 11, throw in the towel to give up on something. The two potential candidates for the management position threw in the towel at the difficulty of the last task. Fresh or clean out of something. This means that you've just finished or sold out of something. We're fresh out of salad, I'm afraid. Would you like to choose another side? Number 13, have or to get mixed feelings about something. To be unsure about an event. As an educator and a parent, I've got mixed feelings about the students' impending return to schools. Number 14, give it one's best shot to try to do something as well as you can. It doesn't matter what the score is at the end of the day, as long as you gave it your best shot. In deep water, to be in trouble or to get into a dangerous situation. Looking at the scatty way she handles everything in the office, my boss realised that she's in deep water in her personal life and it's distracting her from her work. Number 16, next to nothing, a very small amount. It says a lot about our society that nurses get paid next to nothing, while some influencers do next to nothing and get paid millions. Number 17, to be up in arms about something. This means that you're angry or upset about a situation. The residents of this town are up in arms about the wastewater treatment system implemented by the factory. Number 18 is to put yourself in somebody's shoes, to sympathise with someone else's feelings. Before being quick to judge someone for their actions, you should always try to put yourself in their shoes. Number 19, down to earth. This means practical and realistic. In the company, she's respected for her talent and her down-to-earth attitude. Final idiom today is number 20, explore all avenues. This means you investigate every possible solution to a giving problem to try and find your desired outcome. Facing such a hard situation, my company has been exploring all avenues to solve the financial problems as well as minimise the bad effects upon staff. Well, I hope that after two sessions about idioms, you've now got the ability to level up your language and get a higher IELTS speaking exam score by amazing the examiners with a plethora of unusual vocabulary instructors. Don't forget to practice every day in order to use them as naturally as possible. I really hope that you found this session helpful in preparing you for your IELTS test. If you'd like to sign up for IELTS courses here at Lango, please click on the link below. Our IELTS courses are designed to cater to your individual needs by providing personalised learning pathways. Remember to like and subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button to get notifications of our latest video uploads. Once again, I've been Thomas at Lango Learning System and hopefully I'll see you for the next piece of content. Bye.